Dr. Jim Hankinson. I'm with Back to Wellness Chiropractic. I'm located in Kirkwood, Missouri. Um, we're going to do a series of videos on stretching uh, the neck muscles, the low back muscles, and foam rolling. Tonight's going to be about foam rolling. Now, this is a foam roller. This is a generic base type foam roller. You can pick it up at any uh, sporting goods store. They're about $25. Um, I have patients come in every day who complain of having low back pain and leg pain. This is one thing that I, I really advise that they do. It helps to break up the adhesions in the muscles and restore normal function. Once we have normal function in muscles, then the pain that we have in our back and legs starts to diminish. So we're going to get going. I'm going to show you how to use this on the IT band first. The iliotibular band is right here on your side. So what you do, you lay it on your side. And just like this is how you start. You start it right about at your hip joint. I'm going to use my right arm as a fulcrum. My left arm will stabilize me. I'm just going to pull up and down about 10 to 15 times per session. If you find a really bad area that hurts, you can kind of rock yourself back and forth. That helps to break up those knots a little bit better. So this is the iliotibial band, 10 to 15 times. Then you just kind of do a kind of a rotation. So now I'm on my quad. I'm just going to do the same thing from my groin all the way down to my hip 10 to 15 times. Okay? It is going to be painful these first two times you do this, maybe six or seven times. That's completely normal if you have knots in there. And if it hurts, that just tells you you have muscular imbalances and you definitely need to be foam rolling. So, just transition to your hamstring. Come over here like this, roll from your butt down to the back of your knee. You're going to need some upper body strength to do this 10 to 15 times. Then you rotate legs, do this 10 to 15 times. Okay? If you have an area that's sore, you're going to feel it, I promise you. So we go down to the calf. Put it right about the bottom of your knee, push yourself up, and just kind of use your hips and your shoulders, and again, rocking back and forth. It's going to hurt. So the last one I'm going to show you with this is how to do your back. When you do the back, put it right about your mid-back. And then what you're going to do is tuck your chin down a little bit. This causes less strain on your neck. Push your butt up in the air. Walk your way up. And then kind of just do this. 10 to 15 times. All right? Feels really good. You might feel some back popping. That's completely normal. But that's a real quick scenario on how to use the foam roller. Pain is uh, an indication of muscle dysfunction. If you uh, like our video, please like it. If you would like to share it with your friends and tag them, foam rolling, leg pain, back pain, um, give us a call. Uh, our website is stlbackdoc.com. We'd love to see you. My office number, 314-394-2093. Hope you have a great night and I hope to see you soon. Thanks.